Intel 11th generation rocket lake to fight back. Samsung to drop the charger. Don't go anywhere. This is the last MLM of 2020. <laughs>we all know that AMD's latest Ryzen 5000 cards have taken the performance crown from Intel, even in gaming. So everyone's wondering, what is Intel's next step? Can they fight back? Intel's next generation of desktop CPUs are codenamed Rocket Lake S. But we already know that these 11th generation CPUs will still be running on Intel's 14 nanometer process. These brand new core designs are named Cypress Cove Cores. They are based on the Willow Cove Core designs used on the 10 nanometer Ice Lake and Tiger Lake laptop CPUs. According to Intel, even though it will be backported to 14 nanometer for Rocket Lake, we can expect a double digit IPC increase. Recently, there have been some rumored specs of the 11th generation desktop CPUs floating on the internet. So let's check it out and see how they stack up against the last generation. According to the spec sheet, the i9 11900K and i7 11700K will have 8 cores and 16 threads with different maximum boost clocks. Compared to last generation, the 10th gen i9 10 900K has 10 cores, which makes it a 2 core reduction from last generation. Meanwhile, the i5s will stay the same as 6 cores and 12 threads. While it is likely for Intel to be on par or even overtake AMD when it comes to gaming performance, the main concern here is power consumption. With the power consumption numbers that we see from the 10th generation desktop CPUs, we do hope that Intel has made some optimization when it comes to power consumption because the 11th generation CPUs will still Still be running on 14 nanometer process. Anyway, Intel's 11th generation desktop CPUs will launch sometime next year in the first quarter. So, are you guys excited to see how Intel will bite back at AMD? Let us know in the comments down below. When Apple announced the removal of chargers and headphones from their iPhone 12 packaging, a lot of us were bumped out and took a while to realize what a significant impact this move actually has on the environment. Well, now it looks like Samsung will be doing this exact same thing for their upcoming S21 phones. Since the first player to implement such a bold move is one of their main competitors, perhaps Samsung can take a few notes from them. Number one, obviously Apple didn't do so well in this transition because of their phones chargers. If you have an iPhone XS Max and you want to upgrade it to an iPhone 12, then I'm so sorry, your current iPhone XS Max charger will not work with your iPhone 12. You'll still have to get a new charger. And this shouldn't be a problem for Samsung because they've been using the same USB-C technology for the past few years. Unless they suddenly want to surprise us with a new charging technology for their S21, then too bad. Number 2 When Apple announced the price of the separate charger for the iPhone 12, they received a lot of backlash. Save what earth for. If I do have an iPhone 12, I will for sure buy myself the iPhone 12 charger because I don't want my brand new battery to be damaged by some low cheap third party or the last generation charger. And in fact, this move will financially benefit Apple a lot lor. Sure, Samsung can remove chargers from their S21 packaging but I do hope that Samsung will consider giving away free chargers for those customers who really want it. This will also provide a better experience for customers overall. Anyway, if Samsung wants to cut down on e-waste, they shouldn't be taking away what is part of the packaging and then charge it separately for it. Not unless they cut down the price of S21 since it comes without a charger then okay lah but that is so unlikely to happen. I for one think it is a good move by Samsung and Apple. But a lot of us consumers are just really annoyed by it because we do not fully understand the environmental reasons behind it. So I do hope that Samsung will do a great job in introducing and explaining this bold move to avoid backlash like what happened to Apple. Many Apple fans were left disappointed when Apple did not announce the new release of AirPods this year. But even better, earlier this month, Apple announced the release of the all-new 
AirPods Max. The new AirPods Max is an over-ear headphones featuring a canopy headband made from breathable knit mesh, a wrapped stainless steel frame that is soft to the touch, telescoping arms for a consistent fit and seal, and anodized aluminium cups that rotate independently and balance pressure. The ear cushions feature mesh textile and are engineered with memory foam to create the optimal acoustic seal for different head shapes and sizes, while delivering an immersive seal for incredible sound. It has a lot of features that other high-end brands have, such as hi-fi audio with industry leading ANC, transparency mode, spatial sound, and many more. The headphones have a battery lifespan of up to 20 hours or longer depending on your settings. Available in 5 fun colors, this AirPods Max is now available for purchase on their official store for 2399 ringgit. Is this a hashtag cheap buy for you? For me, it's not because with this price, I can purchase two to three Realme Smart TVs. We already know that Resident Evil 8 aka Resident Evil Village will be coming out next April when we first saw the trailer during the PS5 event back in June. Based on the trailer, it looks like the game will be combining elements of previous RE installments and this makes it so weird to look at. Anyway, Capcom was attacked with ransomware and they refused to meet the attacker's demands. This results in them suffering a damaging leak when the screenshots and story details of REA hit the internet over the weekend. Well, I'm a good person so I will not be giving away any spoilers but here's what we know about the game so far. Number 1. Resident Evil Village is Resident Evil 8 so don't be confused if the number 8 is not in the game title. Number 2. The ending of Resident Evil 7 left players hanging so Resident Evil 8 will be a direct sequel to it as it serves as a conclusion to Resident Evil 7's story. You can actually find a lot of connections in the trailer. You just need to watch it a few times and look closely. Number 3. According to rumors, Capcom has been internally referring to the game as Revelations 3. Revelations 3 is one of the Resident Evil franchises that is full of plot twists and cliffhangers that encourages you to play more. This probably gives us an idea of how Resident Evil 8 will be like. In one of the leaks, it also showed that the tentative release date of Resident Evil Netflix series will be next year, May. It's been 4 years since the release of Resident Evil 7. Are you guys excited for Resident Evil 8? Let us know in the comments down below. AMD has a new game bundle for purchases on selected Ryzen 5000 series CPUs from now until 31st December 2020. Not only will you get a copy of Far Cry 6, you will also get a special in-game AMD branded hat and t-shirt. Check the link in the description to redeem your code. While supplies last, so hurry! If you're like me who spends a lot of money on online shopping thanks to the pandemic, then listen up! A video went viral a few days back showing a scammer harassing somebody for money. And not only that, the scammer visited the person's house disguised as a delivery man and asked for COD payment for something the person didn't even order. Wow, those big pay scammers upgrade to become delivery men now. Anyway, what I want to highlight is please be extra careful with how you dispose your parcels, especially the airway bill. Because the airway bill contains personal information like your name, phone number, and your address. What I do is I do not put my full name, I also do not put my actual house address. For my name, I put City Chan and for my delivery address, I actually put my guard house address. And I told them, okay, please abang help me collect my parcels if I'm not home because I live alone and I'm always out for work. So even if the delivery man, he does call me and tell me, Amu, you have a parcel, I'll just tell him, please let that at the guard house. And then every day, 7 p.m., I will go to the guard house to collect all my parcels one shot. What a lie, but a lie to protect myself. So do you guys kind of scam during the pandemic? What is your story? Let us know in the comments down below. Okay, comments time! Moi Chi Hui Now, 3060Ti is still very pricey like Average people selling for 2k to 2.4k That is because there is not much supply in the market now So perhaps wait until next year lot If you already know what card you want to get Just wait until next year Wait for the price to draw Wait for new cards to come out And you can get for a cheaper price For sure Hafiz Habib Wear subtitle you have to turn on subtitle, okay? The funny thing is I also didn't know about this until one of my co-workers, she told me about it. So apparently you have to go to the little setting icon on the bottom right and click on subtitles and choose English. Next, as far as it, Elgato vs. 
Aver Media, which stream tool is better? I don't know much about streaming tools, but what I can tell is um, be more aware of the codec that each of them use. And I have heard of Elgato. A lot of my friends who work in this industry, they do use Elgato. Ever Media, I'm sorry, I've never heard of before. Wu Jing Jin. I'm getting to be real life friends with Michelle so I can borrow her PS5. Do you have a smart TV? So maybe I can borrow your smart TV instead of buying a smart TV. Mark Aldalbert Kuvas. Please stick to this MLM because I like the way you say it. Haha, <laughs> peace. Okay, I know why you said that because a few episodes ago, I said MLM without closing my mouth. It looked like I didn't close my mouth, but obviously I did. It was like, uh, la, la. <laughs> Okay, anyway, next. JJ Pamisa, I love the Singaporean accent. I am not from Singapore, I'm from Malaysia. I don't consider this as the Malaysian accent also. Mine is very rojak lah, okay? Because I grew up with different different friends from all over the world. Okay, let me try to reply more comments in a Malaysian accent, okay? Next, Andrew Kong. Damn, take one photo and your memory is full with 600 MP camera. <laughs> That is very right, but I think right, they will find a way to optimize that so that oh, when you take one picture with the 600MP camera, you'll still have a lot of storage to play with. Okay, that, so that is all for today's episode and I hope you guys like this last MLM of 2020. If you guys will continue supporting us next year, which is just two weeks away, then please help us share this video out. Tag all your friends that you think should watch this video. I'll see you guys next year. Next week we have a break, out, okay? Please don't say that we're lazy. Uh. We are also just human. <laughs> okay, so that is all for this year's MLL. See you guys in the next episode. Bye!